Let's go into the audio editor and discover more about it. So on my Mac, it is W. The key command is W to get into the audio editor. This is a very powerful place to do audio editing, and especially this function section. You have normalize, change gain, fade in, fade out, silence, reverse, lots of good stuff. Now, edits here actually go straight to the source file. So wherever the audio file is in the bin, with your body. any edit that you make here will be into the source file, okay? Okay, so let's start from the beginning of the audio here. So I'm just going to edit this vocal piece and let's have a listen. So you know, you know. So I'm just going to start off by a little fade in right there. So functions, fade in. So you know. Now I could go and I could do something like this and uh, you silent that and then you just fade the end out okay that's so you know you know you know now you always have to listen to it if it feels natural because sometimes you might fade it out too early or too late like this is perfect. you know you know this is acceptable we're all about the self-expression here. But I can hear a little extra bit here. Now, if I take that out, it will lose its naturalness. Have a listen. All about the self-expression here. You see, it just cuts out very fast. About the self-expression here. It doesn't feel natural. So instead, I could do a fade out. The self-expression here. Why don't you turn around to someone you love? So this one's having a lot of extra. Uh -huh. I can probably... I'm going to silent that. And then I'm going to take this and fade it out. someone you love. The audio editor is also really great for changing the gain of waveforms that feel too low and for normalizing. So let's see, for example, this section. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Just going to turn the volume of the music up a little bit. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So this is a bit low in gain, so I'm going to select it with the, it's almost like a marquee tool here, isn't it? And then I could normalize and get a nice loud volume. It's not what you do, it's how... You can also change gain by reducing gain to give more naturalness for like such transitions between here to it's there. It's not what you do, it's how you do. You see that that might have been too much gain change. Silence would have made it sound even weirder. Now it might not matter in the mix, but yeah, just some techniques to help you get your recording sounding natural. I'm just going to reduce it by maybe minus 5 dB. See how that goes down. Do it's how you do it. Let's try to change the gain for this section here. Cause you know, you know, you know, it's not what you see. So I'm just gonna select this entire portion and increase the gain. Let's say we're gonna make it go up by three dB. Cause you know, you know, you know, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. It's Let's hear it in the mix. Cause you know, you know, you know, it's not what you see. I'm going to 
change the gain of these two guys to... Come on, don't be shy. I'm going to increase the gain by 3 dB. Come on, don't be shy. Move that body. And I'll just explain some of the really important key commands in this window here. So when you drag across something, you can sample exactly what you're playing with this button here. And now is your time. And it will just play up to that position. And now is your time. And if you want to loop it, you can turn on the loop brace here. And now if I play it. And now is your time. And now is your time. And now is, now is your time. And it will do a loop. Okay. Now the key commands, actually, you can find the key command by just hovering over it. And it says there option and space. That's what the key command is. And now is your time. And chance to express. I don't know if it'll show the key command for the cycle. There's no key command for the cycle, but there is one for previewing what your selection is. Now, if you want to extend your selection, you can hold the shift key and click and then just drag. Okay. One key command I love to use in the audio editor is actually the comma and full stop. So that just actually jumps around a bar. You see this up here? It's jumping around a bar. So it's it's good for playback. I could just go back like that or like that. Uh, comma and the full stop. Um, option does the vertical zoom and the horizontal zoom. If you if you have a mouse, you just need to scroll upwards for vertical zoom and sideways for a horizontal zoom. You can also press play by double clicking you can select a portion here you can hold it down and you can just scrub through the audio to hear it slowly you can even go backwards and so this section is just for selecting sections here within here up here you can select different zoom points of the audio oh yeah and this part here so if I go to the beginning of a, of a piece of audio, it shows me here where's which part of the region I'm at. So let's have a look at this one. So it's just a section of a bigger region that's this long. And if I want to extend or decrease the section, I could go like that. And it's taken extended that region. Okay, so that should be all I've got for audio editors.